Hi everyone, so we're going to be looking at finding the distance on a coordinate plane and this is going to be in your inquiry lab in textbook page 411. Um, I sent out a remind for you guys to for my advance to come back and get your books and um, so hopefully you have your book with you. If not, you can just write this stuff on a separate piece of paper and do notes like usual. But it'd be a shortcut if you actually have your textbook or if you want to go online and print the pages out, you can go for it. All right, so what is the relationship between coordinates and distance? And so looking at this first example, it says Taylor's house and school are each shown on the map. What is the distance between the two points? So what we know is we know the points for both Taylor and for Taylor's house and for school. And then it says what do we need to find? Well, we want to find the distance between the two points. All right, so we're trying to find from here to here. So now we're going to go by the step-by-step -step process that they give us here. We're going to find the distance between Taylor's house and the school. So step one says find the coordinates of Taylor's house and the school. So Taylor's house, if we go on the x-axis, because remember it's always x comma y, it's always over and then up. So for um, this case for his house we go over to the 5 and we go up to the 3 and so our ordered pair is going to be 5 comma 3 for Tyler's for Taylor's house then we're going to do the same thing for the school we're going to go over in this case to 2 and we're going to go up again to 3 so this time we're going to write in 2 comma 3 it says to write the x coordinates for each of the locations on the table. So the x coordinates are 5 and 2. And it wants us to find the difference between the x coordinates. That's just subtraction, we get a 3. Now we're going to draw a line that connects the points in the coordinate plane above and how many units are between the points. So we can draw our line from school to Tyler's house and if you notice, it's one, two, three away. Each of these boxes counts as one, so it's three units away. So how does this compare to the answer from step three? Hopefully it is the same. And our answer is that there are three units between Taylor's house and the school. There you go. So in this case, our x's were different, so we subtracted them to find the distance. If our y's had been different, if it had been a, a situation where it was here and it was here, I would have figured out, okay, what's the y value here and the y value here and subtracted those to find the distance. So it just depends on what axis it's gliding across. All right, so you're gonna do activity number two on your own. So I'd like for you to pause the video and work that out on your own. When you come back, we'll go over the answers. All right, so for our coordinates for a, we would go over negative two and up positive 3 for A, and for B, we're going over negative 2 and then down to negative 4, and that's for B. When we put in our Y coordinates, remember it's X comma Y, and so the second number is the Y. We'll put in our Y's, which are um, 3 and negative 4, and then we're going to also put in the distance from the X axis, and so we're going to put in our negative 2 and negative 2. Alright, so it says find the distance between the two points and add the distance from the x-axis to each point. Sorry guys, I wasn't reading that very carefully. It says the distance from the x-axis. So it's asking us is how far from the x-axis was b and how far was a. And so it was 3 away here and it's 4 away here. So notice that we just found the absolute values for both of our uh, y-coordinates. So the distance away from the x-axis, sorry about that. And so now to find the distance between the two points, we're going to add the distance from the x-axis to each point. So we're going to go the distance from 3 to 0, which is 3, and then from 0 to negative 4, which is 4. We're going to add those together and it's 7. So if we draw a line connecting the points, it wants to know how many units are from between the two. So if we drew a line and we counted each unit, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven and it should be the same 
and the distance between point A and point B are seven units. Now, as we go along, you might see where they're gonna say, oh, each unit is worth two miles equals one unit. And so if I asked you how far away this was, you would say, oh, that's 14 miles away because each unit represents two miles and so it would be 14 miles away. Think of a map and how a map gives you the little thing and it says a scale and this to this is um, from zero to one inch on the map is actually zero to 500 miles or something like that and then you have to figure out okay well this 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 added up how many miles is that away considering each inch is 500 miles just a little background all right sorry I go off on a tangent so now it says work with a partner to draw a line between each point, pair of points then find the distance between the points you know what you don't have a partner unless you guys are doing homework together so do it on your own and do just one and two for now and come back and I will have the answers already there so pause the video now please alright so what I found was that the for number one it was three units away and for number two it was four units away now the reason I can just do subtraction for this one is because they're in the same quadrant um, whereas if you have a negative um, value in one of these you're going to have to figure out the distance from the axis okay and in this case we're talking about the x-axis because we want to go from here to here um, up to down so I need to go to the x-axis if it was going side to side crossing then you would see that you would need to figure out the distance from here and here and add them together so I know that seems a little different but that's what we're looking for alright or you can just count the units but if it's if they give you the ordered pair and you don't have a graph do you want to be able to figure out how to do it without a graph or do you always want to have to draw a graph because if you figure it out based on counting them you're going to have to draw the graph every time even when you're given just the the coordinate um, ordered pairs all right so three and four um, this time they gave us the ordered pairs and they gave us the graph and they said to plot each pair of points on the coordinate plane and then find the distance between the points this is one of those situations where if they didn't give you this beautiful graph or say you're at home and you forgot to get your book, um, then you're going to need to just, I would say, take care of business here knowing that your negative twos are the same so you're finding the distance between negative four and negative one and so the distance between a negative four and negative one, um, we're talking like from here to here, is one, two, three units. So that's me quickly doing it. I know that I'm going to find the difference. Um, if you had to graph them, which is what this thing says, then you need to graph specifically negative 2, which is over, and the negative 4, which is down, and it would be a point right here. And then negative 2 and then negative 1 down would be right here. Oh, I should have showed you this line on this other axis then, shouldn't I? Um, then you can find the distance 1, 2, 3, there. All right. So I'm going to have you do four on your own, and then you can also do five and six. So pause the video now, and we'll come back and I'll give you the answers for each. Hopefully, you find this very easy. So you'll see my answer for four. I showed my dots on the coordinate plane, so yours should also be in the same um, quadrants. And then I saw that I'm looking for the distance between three, negative three, and the y axis, as well as positive one in the y-axis and I add those two points together or those two units together amounts of units together and I get four alright alright and the answer for five and six are here you'll see that for this one you subtracted because they're in the same quadrant and for this one you added because they're in two separate quadrants so you had to allow for this amount of space and this amount of space alright now there are two more examples, seven and eight. If you got all of the other ones correct, then you can fast forward through this part. But if you did not get them correct, I'm going to go through these. And the next thing that we'll be doing is the next page. And so um, if you want to get a jump start, you can start filling those in. All right, so for uh, negative, or sorry, four comma one, I'm going to go over four up one. And then I'm going to go over negative one, which is to the left, up positive one. I instantly see that my um, y's are the same, so I know that I'm going to be taking care of my 4, my negative 1. I know that this is going to be 4 plus 1 because they're in two different quadrants, and that's going to be 5 units total. You could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
The next one is that they have, um, sorry, let's see. We go over four, up four for the first one. We go over four, up one for the next one. And then we can um, see that the y, the y's are what's different this time. And because they're in the same quadrant, I'm going to subtract them. And that's a three. And again, you can count one, two, three to verify your answer. All right, so now we're gonna do nine through, um, well, yeah, nine through 12. Um, if you want me to do the first one for you, you can keep listening and then pause or you can pause now. All right, so for number three, exercise three, uh, well, first of all, exercise two, they went back to this first exercise over here and they said, okay, the line is up and down, that's vertical. Horizontal is side by side, vertical is up and down. So when we go over here, we said, okay, it was a vertical line and it wants us to see if they're the same quadrants or different. Of course, I'm having to scroll backwards. They were two different quadrants. So we say different quadrants and then the length was four units. The next thing we do is three. So we go back to exercise three and we say, okay, it's a vertical line and it's in one quadrant and the distance was three. So vertical line, they were the same quadrant and the units were three. So the next one, we're gonna do another, number four, five, and six. Go ahead and pause the video and do those now and then compare your answers. All right, so for nine, we were vertical. It was the same and it was three. Then for um, number 10, for exercise four, it was horizontal, that's side to side. It was different quadrants and four length units. And then for number 11, it was horizontal, same two. And for number 12, it was vertical, different, and six. Remember that when they're the same, you subtract. And when they're different, you'll add the distance, their absolute values. You'll add their absolute values. All right, so number 13 says to compare your answers from exercise 10 and 11, what is the relationship between the coordinates used and the length of each line? So comparing 10 and 11, you would look at the fact that they're both horizontal, but they're different um, because one of them on example number four in your horizontal, you had um, different quadrants and so you added. In 11, they were both horizontal, but they were in the same quadrant, so we subtracted. All right, number 14, name the coordinates of two points that have the same coordinates and are eight units apart. So, Pause the video now and I want you to think about that one and fill in the blank. Now this, everybody could have a different answer, honestly. We're just looking so that we have our x comma y, and let's just write that, I'm writing it a million times, x comma y, x comma y. And um, if we're talking about a same uh, quadrant, then we'll have, um, again, our x's need to be the same, so let's say just ones, whatever, the, as long as they're the same. And if it's in the same one, we're gonna be subtracting. So I could say nine for one and one for the other. And if I subtract that, I have eight units apart. If it were different, if these were different, um, like we have different quadrants, again, my X values are gonna be the same. So we'll say they're both ones. And my Y's are gonna be different. Now this time, remember that I'm going to add their absolute values. So I could say negative five is one point and positive three is the other one. So I have one comma negative five, one comma three, and when I figure out the distance between those two y, y's, I'm gonna find that it's actually going to be eight units apart. So just some examples, yours could be completely different, but same idea, y's, or x's are the same, and if they're different ones, then they need to be able to add up the absolute values. If they're in the same quadrant, then they need to be able to subtract to the eight. All right, use absolute value to write a rule for determining the distance between two points on a, card, coordinate, a co coordinate plane that have the same x coordinate. So um, again, this is going back to just having talked about this. If they're different quadrants, you could say if they're different quadrants, comma, you find the absolute value of each y value and add them together. And that's the example for that. Number six, write and solve a word, real world problem. Don't worry about that, because we'll all be different on that one too. What is the relationship between coordinates and distance? When they're the same coordinate, they're on the same 
um, like they're a horizontal line or a vertical line if they have one of the coordinates the same. So if x's are the same, it's going to be um, if x's are the same, it's going to be a sorry a vertical line, and if the y's are the same, it's going to be a horizontal line. And I know that because you know if this is my x-axis, if they're all the same y values, then it's this direction. If it's a um, coordinate plane and they're all in this line, they're all the same x values. All right, that's the end of it. Sorry, such a long video. Hopefully you were able to fast forward through some of it. Have a great day. See you in school. Bye.